Right, good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at probably one of my favourite products of 2022. It's certainly been ever present in my bag and I absolutely love it. But I'm not going to be the one that's testing it. I'm going to give it to a professional golfer and I want their assessment because I've got a feeling this could be very much a Marmite product. And that means you either love it or hate it. And there's a fair chance I love it and he's going to hate it. That man, of course, that professional referred to is Lewis Johnson. We're up here at Oliwell Golf Club. I've asked him to come out and play a few holes of golf, but I want you to do a bit more than that. The microphone is on for a reason. I feel as though we're not just playing golf. No, we're not. I've got a little product that I want to introduce you to, but first of all, let's get cracking on here, and then I'll tell you what I want you to have a look at. What have you got there, three wood? Yeah, it's three wood. Oh, what a start. How can you do that first week of the day? It's <laughs> a rocket, mate. So look, we're away. It's a bit breezy. It's not a. It's not a. Let me tell you this. It's not a driver. It's not a fairway wood. It's more the short end of the bag that I'm going to look at this morning. No, that, it, you're not going to be on a chipper, have you? Time will tell, mate. Time will tell. <laughs> Could be good, Luke. The yardage is right. Oh, short. Right, okay, so first few shots played and I am gonna introduce this new club to Lewis when we get to the green. It is in fact a putter and it's a putter that's, well, very, very different. I think from memory, I'm pretty sure that Lewis is currently gaming a Scotty Cameron. We'll soon find out anyway. I think he's had it for quite some time. This putter divides opinion. It's very, very different. I think you all know what that putter's gonna be. And what I wanna know is when I put it in the hands of a professional golfer for the first time, who's probably, I'm pretty sure, never set his eyes on this kind of thing, how he reacts and what he thinks of it. I think this could be an interesting video. That was a chipper, that, Lou. Oh, no. It's not a chipper. Now, Lou, I have to say that's a great wedge you played in, but this is where the, well, where the, the change happens. Oh, wow, so it's putter. So I'm having that. Now, I've just told everybody, and they pretty much know what sits beneath this. I've told you about this thing. You've never really seen it in a flesh, nor had much of a go with it, so. All I've seen is you hold putts of this. I've hold a few, oh, and I'm wow. liking it. The reason for the day is- I expect it to look like that. In what way? What's your immediate thought? Like what? Weird. Where the shaft goes in, where it goes into the grip. I was right, he's got a Scotty Cameron putter. It's sensor shafted, so there's at least one similarity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's about where it ends. So first of all, no sort of preconceived, no having a go. I want you to go and hold your birdie putt. And then, then we'll talk about it. Talk me through your first thoughts, I'll tell you what, while your first thoughts. I think he's lost for words. Um, I, <clears throat> I don't know. That's different as well, isn't it? Oh, it's balanced completely different, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel the same. It's not the same as anything. I'd just be, be yeah. so interested if you hold the putt. Not the greatest of starts. I think what we need to do is we need to go onto a practice green or a green somewhere and have a few swings with it. And I need to persuade Lewis why this could be the answer to all his putting woes. I've got a feeling that might be a bit of a difficult task though. Bigger. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. Doesn't look it like, does it? But it will, people notice today. Just try the, try the smaller putt ahead. Uh, honestly, it's like starting again. Yeah. I like the smaller one better. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't feel as though I'm in control of that. The point is that, so I'll have another couple of goes elsewhere, but let me move them out of the way. 
The point is, you've got, I don't know whether this is right or wrong, like I said, when I used it for the first nine holes, I put it how I would normally put. Yeah, yeah. And it didn't work. You've almost like got to let the putter head swing as free as possible. Yeah. So I found I like, took my bottom hand out completely in terms of pressure. I, I just let it swing like a pendulum. And it changed. I don't know whether that's a good description. I don't know. I'm going to repeat this in the video at some point, but that's the only way I could get it going. So you just let it go. and it Because their whole thing is about this lie angle balanced, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This so you're not bizarre. supposed to really uh, manipulate. manipulate the club head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? You're supposed to let it swing. And to do that, in my opinion, you've therefore got to just go. You'd almost be better off, actually, then. Yeah. I'd be going back to that. Yeah. But it's very different, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I can't miss with it. Neither can you. It's hard to argue, isn't it? It's a, it's a weird one, isn't it? I think that's the whole point of the video. It's not like to say, you know, I think, I think the argument would be, you'd probably say, I hate it at the beginning. And then if it changes, throughout a number of puts. That's the point, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or it doesn't. <clears throat> Can you see that change of forward lean? Yeah, massive. That's the big key for me. Yeah. That, I think that's why I don't like it. This one. I, I think potentially I agree. It's a big block. Where is that one? I feel as though there's an element of precision to it. That yeah. one's like a big cumbersome. I, I, I must admit, I'm, on a, I'm of a similar. And have they built this specific for your stroke, have they? It, 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 the only thing that changed is because my preference is... Oh, I mean, Ridiculous, I don't hold anything on these greens. See, the interesting thing is that if you get that line right, and then you've just got to have faith, haven't you? Really, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, pace is you know, you've got that's, pace a, line. that's the thing I'm noticing is my, my sort of the line, my intended line is way better with this, is you it? Know, hitting the ball on the line of it, yeah, yeah, which is. Massive in it, you yeah. Get it on the line you want, and then you can't really moan. You know, it might not well, exactly. Go in, but, um, well, you've then got pace, you've, you've got to get the line right. You've got, but but then all I'm saying is, if I pick my line, which I did on that last port, you then have to just stare then, down on the port. Yeah. All I do is just look down and okay, that's it, go and let it do its thing. Yeah, that's the most intriguing thing for me is just I want to let this putter do what I yeah, want yeah. to do, whereas I'm always trying to do you feel like it's like a bit of a pendulum secret. thing. Yeah, yeah, if you can yeah, do definitely. it. I can't get made around a putter that sits like this. Yeah. I mean, I've worked in golf for a long time and it's it's there. It's well, there, isn't it? Yeah. You know so what I mean? They, yeah. they sit somewhere between face balance and about a, you know, about there. Yeah. And this one just goes, yeah. Nope. I'm gonna go the other way. I just I'm just Well, I'm no scientist, mate, but all I know is that like that's, in my opinion, that's like the other direction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Lou, we're now on the eighth hole. You've had a few more rolls with it. Well, particularly, we spent a lot of time on the first, on the 18th green. Actually. Yeah, just having a bit of a practice because I think it was it's. I mean, it's so very different, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I was a, that was sort of taken back by the looks, but actually, it, 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 it's playability. Yeah. And you sort of spoke to me a little bit about you know the balance and and how you've used it and stuff, and that's made a massive difference to me. And and it, I mean, it's this is probably the first thing I've tried in a long time that's completely different to what I know yeah you know you mean you generally all these new products that you kind of have a feel for you kind of just use them the same and you can yeah well this no, is not that is it well I think this whole thing about when you if you want more detail and go back to the original videos because I have done a few on this putter now because one I like it and two because I think it's like it's a concept that is very very different yeah and that lie angle balance is very very different yeah and and the forward press it's not something I've run into and it's not something that I've ever considered, you know, and, and you know, my putting is somewhere where, where I feel as though I can improve massively, consistency and, and everything. And it, it, it's something so, that... So just one thing at a time. When, with the, so we got, I've got two putters that we've been looking at today. The main difference, MES1 and MES1 Max. The Max being a bigger overall head shape. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be that greater. It doesn't look visually different on images, but it is quite a bit bigger in terms of its profile. It's supposed to be a little bit more stable and there's a bit more weighting, perimeter weighting in it. Um, and the other difference that I asked for is to, it's got three degrees of forward press. Yeah. 
So first of all, in terms of forward press between the two, which would you prefer and how visible the difference is it? The smaller it? one, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you say if you if you have them next to each other, I think we, the picture would explain it better in terms of the the smaller headed one um, with the le less less forward, less forward press. press. You know, it's certainly more usable, I think, for me. Um, how did you? But but first of all, compared to your normal putter, and it was a Scotty centre shaft. Yeah, yeah. How weird did it feel by adopting that forward press straight away at a dress? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's just, I think everything about it, the way that. that yeah, as in weird. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. It's completely different. I can't ex really put it across. If it's like no other putter that I've no. that I've held before. From that aspect, and I suppose the next question is: from the forward press, do you feel that was beneficial if you got if you got used to it or not? Um, I'm certainly having the number of putts that we've just had. I certainly feel as though that I could get used to that. Yeah. Um, the sort of the, the the other change down the bottom end. Yeah. That's something that I think is um, again just as different and. It's hard as they get used to. And what would you refer the, to that as, as in the face the, balance yeah, or as in the neck? Yeah, how the putter moves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can clearly when the when the putter is moving sort of through the air, if you like, during yeah. the stroke, there's a completely different yeah way it moves. I'm saying yeah, yeah, because I almost feel like yeah. it's a validation on what I've said because I've done these reviews and, like I said, I'm I have said the same. Yeah. And uh, you question are you going a bit mentally because you know it shouldn't really it's a putter and no. it shouldn't really feel that like different, but it does. And one of the big things is, like I said, and I spoke to Lewis about it on the 18th green when we had a bit of a practice, was you've really got to let the putter head do its own thing. And if you try to manipulate it at all, I think you've got a problem. Yeah. Um, and I think that going back to that's what people want to do. They want to let the putter do the work. Yeah. Um, but this is the first putter that really, when you let it do its own thing, like do its own thing, yeah. it actually improves your putting. Whereas... I, I Going think back it to every other putter that I've ever used, yeah. and I, you know I've had a few, th that's really, the, the, my problem is, I don't know whether to stick or twist, you yeah. know, I, and, I, and that changes, you know, I can go a week putting great with one putter, and then it, it kind of, whereas this thing, I feel as though it wants to do the same thing every time, yeah, yeah. and then if I can just let it. If and, you can, because uh, yeah. that's also hard, you know, yeah. you think it's easy to say, oh, just take your hands out of the equation, let the putter, but we're so used to manipulating, whether it be yeah. a golf club, or a putter, you, we're so used to having our hands Definitely. involved, it's hard to do as well. It's turned into more of a sort of questionnaire, this video I've noticed, but what do you think of the face and the feel of the putter? Yeah, I, I don't think that, that would be the least revolutionary thing about it, yeah. you know, it really is. You know, everything else about it, it, it comes off okay. Yeah. You know, I, no, no sort of problems with getting used to that, it's just the, how it's moving is... And the, and the head shape? Mind. Again, off putting because yeah, it's a little no, bit. No, I mean I, I've used I've used every type of putter as you know. Yeah. Um. It you know that it, it, it sits lovely. Yeah. You know it's quite straight lined. You know there's yeah. there's no real it's not aesthetically pleasing. I don't think is it. It's just it's quite clean. Like I said, yeah, I think yeah, the, yeah. Uh, um, the, the alignment aid is neat. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, certainly the smaller one I like. Yeah. You know, the bigger the bigger sort of bronze finish one that we've got here. Not my cup of tea, but I can see why. Yeah. It, it, it's more forgiving. I have to say, I mean, again, I've only brought that out today for the first time to have a little bit of a putt with it. And again, I'd probably agree with Lou. Um, I thought the bigger putter head might have offered a bit more stability. It sort of feels almost like the opposite. It feels a bit more clumbersome. Um, yeah. And I, I, I don't know, but I, I would, at this stage at least, and I've only played this sort of few holes with it, uh, I would still prefer the smaller profile of the, the Mez 1. And I think that maybe goes back to the fact that the Mez 1 is probably more like any other mallet that you've tried. So it's not... It's not yeah. overly big, it's nice and neat, yeah. it's a unique shape, but it's still uh, very much like on the eye what we're used to. Um, and the other bit, again, I'll ask you one more question because I don't want to bore people to death with this, but the, the shaft is sort of set back, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, did you find that weird or again no, okay? No, you've seen a, a little bit on some of this. I, I don't find that too weird. You know, no. There's a nice alignment aid there, which, which, which is yeah. nice, easy to use, but... Um, it, you know, it is different, isn't it? It really we've got, is. We've got a couple of putts here that we'll go and finish off. We'll probably overlay them now and uh, see if we can uh, hold a few birdies. But I think um, the last question would be, I'm not saying you're going to switch out your Scotty camera, you've played that for a while, but, but is, is it, do you think this would be a putter that you'd ever consider? And do you think it's a putter that other golfers should consider? Oh, it's quite yeah. expensive, this as well. 
Yeah, that was that was another thing as well. Is yeah, we do sit quite high up in the price it, it point. It does, yeah. I would recommend people go and try it, you know, because it is different. And if you're struggling with your putting and you, you kind of you maybe want to reinvent the wheel and, and just start again, I think this that would be a good start. Yeah, point. yeah. The logic behind it sort of. You think it makes you know, sense? It's like nothing else that, that you'll have ever tried. Yeah. Um, yeah, go. And, I, I would recommend giving it a whirl. Yeah. Do you know what, we're going to end the video there because uh, there's not a great deal you can do in putter reviews and I think it was more like I said, it was really interesting for me. I think like I said, I used the word validation, I always feel like I can carry on using it for a bit with a bit of an approval from someone else who's tried it because you sort of, you are second guessing a bit yeah. and whether or not you just bought into a concept but uh, a lot of what I heard Lewis said is what I've said in previous videos so that was good to hear. The most difficult thing is, and I wish we could arrange something whereby people could come and try them out it, you know, if it was up here or something, because you can't get to try these putters. They're made in the US. There's very few people at all that sort of uh, give you access to them in the UK. Yeah. So it's a real tough product to get hold of. So just let me know what your thoughts are on this video. Bit of an odd one that I've thrown on Lewis. He wasn't expecting it. And uh, let me know, have you tried the Mez? Have you tried the Mez 1 Max? What your thoughts and opinions are? And uh, yeah, hopefully this video was of some benefit to you or maybe it was just a benefit to me and I'm going to carry on I think with that uh, Mez 1 Mini. Right, thank you for watching, thanks to Lewis, we're up here at Hollywell Golf Club, it is uh, absolutely bone dry even though it's a little bit chilly and a gorgeous day, I think we'll carry on, I think it's uh, well he's two up at the minute so I need to all that birdie putt. <laughs>